when you see uh, such a fragment that it's not, it's not finished, it brings you slightly closer to the struggles of the composer. During these four days of recording, recording Schubert and this contemporary music, it was really interesting to see how, how they all shed on each other. I got ideas from the Finnessy and from the Wiedmann into the Schubert and vice versa. the fragment you yourself you know it's about to end but it shouldn't sound as if you, you're preparing it to end it should just suddenly stop <laughs> Relic Sonata in C major is among the unfinished sonatas, probably the most significant ones. So on one hand you have these very grand parts, orchestral blocks, and Right next to them you have the most psychological, introspective, uh, strange themes and harmonies. So um, it's this ambiguity that I find very special about this piece. He wrote this piece with me in mind. Uh, I intended to do this completion uh, together with the Relique Sonata. So it's all the completion itself, it, it stands as a piece uh, on its own. But I wanted to have this big arch of the piece from the Schubert and ending with the Finnessy. My Schubert is not the Schubert of 1820s Vienna, it's a Schubert who has been heavily marketed by the media, whose personality has been very frequently discussed, who we know as a composer of over 800 songs. Of course, all of this goes into my mind when I'm, when I'm thinking about writing. We don't know our last moments, and we shouldn't think we know Schubert's last moments either. I didn't want a slow decline into an autumnal coda. I just wanted it to stop, almost with a question mark. Has it finished? Has it not finished? What more do we know about Schubert from listening to this? I was very happy that uh, Michael Finnessy could come and attend uh, one recording day. Obviously, it was uh, quite nerve-wracking having the, the composers <laughs> at present. And I'm glad that Schubert didn't come as well. <laughs> yes! Fantastic! Idyll und Abgrund is a, is a series of miniatures, very, in, very short and concentrated uh, pieces. And they are... Um, Reminiscences, Schubert reminiscences. Uh, there is uh, one place where he writes it should sound like a music box, and um, where he asks you to uh, to whistle. The 
it's a project that is very much uh, myself, this first CD. I wanted to, to, to have this beginning with something that not everybody, uh, not everybody plays. What's more interesting is this dialogue that you have between the present and the past. <laughs> 